I'm in the process of adding coolant to my grizzly mill. And I've seen the people that use the plastic pipe and everything. I really didn't want to go that route with all that big monstrous plastic pipe hanging around my mill. So what I've done is I've gone and I've gotten a, a 3 8 stainless tube, made a couple of brackets where it'll bolt to the mill, and then a half 20 stainless fitting and a quarter tapered pipe threads in, the, in that fitting. I'll TIG weld all this together and then I've got a small hole on this other side to guide a drill bit down to the hole in this tube so the coolant will come in here. Yeah, don't go, it roll all over the place for me. Yeah, do that. Anyway, uh, coolant will come in here, go through the tube, come out here and then you know, squirt, squirt on the work being done. And you say, well, uh, tapered tap in a piece of stainless, uh, are you a masochist or something? Well, I happen to have this tap. I call it a staggered tooth tapered pipe tap. I use it first, and then I come in with a plug tap and, and kind of finish it off. That allows me to do the stainless. Uh, for those of you that have tried to run a tapered pipe tap into stainless, you, you, you'll, you'll appreciate what I'm suggesting here. I don't really know the, the correct name for these taps. I just call it a stagger tube. But anyway, uh, going to do stainless, uh, those, those taps are pretty handy. Otherwise, it's just about impossible to tap it with a regular tap. Or maybe you all know some tricks I don't know. I think I mentioned it, but if I didn't, these little plugs go in the end of the tubing. So plug, the, plug both ends of the tube. First I welded the plugs in. Next I welded the fittings on. Weld the, well, no, before I weld the brackets on, I might, I might drill those holes out first. if you can see it, but it drilled out half the plug. The plug just goes to the center of the hole. Do that on both ends. Next comes the bracket. Now to shine it up a little bit since it is stainless. Well, there it is installed. I got some stainless screws, but they were too long. I might cut them off and use them. That'll be the probably the shortest cutter. There's a little engraving cutter that happened to be in there. And I've got plenty of those nozzles, so I'll make them different lengths for longer tools, say like a drill bit sticking out of a drill chuck. So, there she be. There's the tank. That was a container I already had. Uh, I did buy a pencil cup. It's made out of screen wire. Of course, it's put a coffee filter in. Now, how well this will work? Well, the coffee filter will take the the amount of volume that little pump will put out. I don't know. Now, I've used that pump before on a lathe, but it didn't have to pump up that high. So I'm not buying a one-way valve. I, that's the only thing I don't have since it's a vertical. Uh, pumping situation there unlike it was in the lathe uh, it'd take quite a while to pump up that height every time so I need a one-way valve in it and before I can try it out I need the coolant uh, so far the only thing I've, I've spent money on was the <laughs> was the switch I had to buy the switch and uh, I don't remember what that cost just got it at uh, and oh yeah, I engraved the switch. It says coolant on it, got my name on it. So that project's done except for getting coolant and mixing it up and, and giving it a try. And if that little pump does the job then I'll I'll get a one way valve for it. And that'll be that. And uh, 
I guess the next question somebody's going to have is why didn't I build an enclosure? Well, I, I built a thing to catch most of the coolant right there. I don't have room in my shop for an enclosure around it. Uh, I've run out of room for machine tools. And uh, I don't know, unless I get rid of something, which I don't think I want to do, I'm just going to have to live with it like that.